In the late 1980s, when the arms race between global powers was at its peak, the Soviet Union planned to develop an entirely new fighter aircraft to replace its two famous models at the time, the MiG-29 and the Su-27. Two options were proposed. One was the Su-47, known for its unique and bold forward-swept wing design, and the other was the MiG-1.44, a highly ambitious project. After years of research, by 2002, the Russian government decided to choose Sukhoi as the lead contractor for developing a new generation fighter with a prototype named T-50. This aircraft would incorporate the most advanced technologies from both the Su-47 and the MiG-1.44 to create a completely new monster of the skies. On August 8, 2007, General Alexander Zelen announced that the design phase had been completed and that Russia would begin building the first prototype for flight testing. By 2009, the T-50's design was officially approved. It wasn't just another airplane. The T-50 was Russia's trump card, created to challenge America's top fighter jets. This was a military project of immense national importance, reflecting Moscow's ambition to reaffirm its status as a superpower in the skies. The Su-57 is the official name of this fifth-generation fighter designed and manufactured by Sukhoi exclusively for the Russian Air Force. Before receiving its final designation, it was known under its testing codename T-50. Although there is still little official or verifiable information regarding the exact technical specifications of the PAKFA, interviews with several Russian Air Force personnel led observers to believe that it would be a stealth fighter capable of supersonic speeds and equipped with a wide range of modern weapon systems, all from the latest generation. The Su-57 is expected to have a length of 19.8 meters, a wingspan of 13.95 meters, a height of 4.74 meters, an empty weight of 18.5 tons, a loaded weight of 32 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of around 37 tons. It uses AL-41 F1S turbofan engines, giving it a top speed of Mach 2.25, a range of 5,500 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 20,000 meters. This is only the testing engine for the T-57 prototype. Mass production of the Su-57 with next-generation AL-51F engines is planned through 2027, aiming to complete all performance requirements that define a true fifth-generation fighter. The Su-57 developed by Russia has repeatedly surprised international military experts, as many of its special features were only revealed recently, showing that its development is moving in the right direction. The Su-57 employs the N050 OLS 50M EESA radar system, an extremely sensitive radar and sensor suite capable of detecting targets up to 400 kilometers away, tracking 40 targets simultaneously, and engaging 16 targets at once. The aircraft's internal weapon configuration includes three sections, a main weapons bay, secondary bays, and external hardpoints. Its maximum payload capacity is estimated between 14 and 16 tons, far greater than most other fighters. For comparison, the Su-35 can carry about 12 tons, the Su-30 around 10.4 tons, the F-22 Raptor roughly 10 tons, and the F-35 only about 8.1 tons. This superior carrying capacity comes from the extensive use of advanced composite materials. While the Su-30SM and Su-35 use about 25% non-metallic materials, the Su-57 increases that to 35%, reducing weight while maintaining size and strength. Thanks to this large payload capacity, the Su-57 can carry a wide range of modern weapons and integrate large auxiliary systems such as advanced radars. In reality, the Su-57 is not just a fighter jet. It is a mobile combat system capable of deploying the latest weapon technology. The exact list of weapons it carries remains classified. However, some reports suggest that Russian defense contractors have developed around 15 entirely new types of weapons exclusively for this aircraft. The Su-57 is designed with four internal weapons bays, two of which are large and extend almost the full length of the fuselage, meant to house long-range air-to-air missiles with ranges up to 400 kilometers, Ka-59 missiles or bombs weighing up to 1,500 kilograms. Two smaller side bays are optimized for short-range air-to-air missiles with an effective range of about 40 kilometers. With certain hardpoints capable of carrying up to 1.5 tons, 
the Su-57 can load up to six R-37 long-range missiles within its two main bays. Even though it is a fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Su-57 retains close-range combat capability, being equipped with a 30mm 981471K autocannon. In terms of size and shape, the Su-57 is larger than the MiG-29, but smaller than the Su-27. It features fully movable vertical tail fins and forward canards that enhance maneuverability. Its variable geometry leading edge extensions allow the aircraft to perform extremely agile maneuvers in dogfights. The Su-57 still inherits much of the Su-27's design language because Russia has chosen to sacrifice a bit of stealth for superior maneuverability, a quality long emphasized in its fighter design philosophy. Russia's goal was to create a jet that could outperform other fifth-generation fighters before the world transitions to the sixth generation. In May 2022, sources from Russia reported that the Su-57 fighter jets had been deployed just two to three weeks after Moscow began its military campaign in Ukraine. These aircraft launched long-range missile strikes against targets from beyond the reach of Ukrainian air defenses. Like many other Russian aircraft, the Su-57 primarily operates within Russian airspace. Commercial satellite imagery taken in December 2022 showed five Su-57s stationed at Aktivinsk Air Base, about 500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. By June 2022, four Su-57s reportedly formed a coordinated network to suppress and destroy Ukrainian air defense systems from long range. Sources also claim that the Su-57's radar stealth capabilities had proven effective in real combat. On October 19, 2022, Russian General Sergei Serovikin, then commander of all Russian forces in Ukraine, confirmed that the Su-57 had carried out both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, successfully engaging targets in both roles. Some Russian sources even claimed that the Su-57 had shot down a Ukrainian Su-27 using a long-range R-37 missile, though this remains unverified. On May 18, 2024, a Su-57 escorted by two Su-35 fighters launched KH-69 stealth cruise missiles against targets in Luhansk province. By May 2024, Ukrainian sources reported that Russia had intensified the use of Su-57s in strikes against Ukrainian targets, mostly from Russian-controlled airspace. On June 9, 2024, Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence, GUR, announced that it had used drones to attack Aktobensk Air Base in Astrakhan, damaging or destroying two Su-57 aircraft. Several Russian military-linked telegram channels confirmed the incident, reporting that at least one Su-57 had been damaged by shrapnel, while others criticized the lack of protective hangars at the base. Then on October 10, 2024, a Su-57 reportedly shot down a Russian drone that had gone out of control and was flying over Ukrainian airspace about 16 kilometers from the border. At the Zhuhai Air Show in China in 2024, Russia showcased two prototypes of the Su-57 stealth fighter. The first, coded T-54, performed flight demonstrations. The second, believed to be T-56 or T-57, was displayed in a static exhibition alongside a collection of weapon models. The T-54 prototype became the highlight of the show, drawing massive attention from Chinese visitors and social media users. Based on close-up footage, many Chinese observers argue that the aircraft's build quality was poor, with visible panel gaps, raised rivets, and uneven bolts, factors that could increase rate of reflection and make the jet easier to detect. The tail section, attached using different types of bolts, also showed a lack of assembly consistency, Chinese netizens criticized the Su-57 as inferior to domestic fighters like the J-20 and J-35A, emphasizing that Chinese jets have smooth surfaces like America's F-35. However, defense analysts suggested that Russia had good reasons to display an early, rough-looking prototype. Roman Kovalov, editor-in-chief of the Russian military site Top War, stated that the Su-57 is Russia's most advanced stealth fighter and Moscow did not want to reveal its latest technologies, especially when many foreign experts and even NATO intelligence agents attended the event. The T-54 prototype became the fourth prototype built during the program's early phase and made its first test flight in 2012. 
The other newer model was built during the second testing phase and has been flying since 2016. It doesn't take an expert to realize that prototypes from 2012 differ greatly from the 2024 production models. Proof came in August 2020, when the Russian Ministry of Defense released the first images of Su-57 mass production showing significantly improved build quality. Chinese analysts believe Russia wants to attract foreign buyers without revealing too many secrets to China. Showcasing an early prototype as Zuhai was a clever balance between both goals. With its superior maneuverability and stealth technology, the Su-57 has been described as a ghost of the Russian skies, the embodiment of a cold, deadly warrior. And yes, if one day the sky suddenly roars and you see a strange flash streaking across, smile and say a prayer, because it might just be a Su-57 making a delivery. And the good news is, the recipient won't need to pay the bill.